Uh, Manasu Thapar, I beg your pardon. Mr. Thapar, uh, it does look like there are chinks in the version, number one. And again, I reiterate my point. We are not here to declare anybody guilty or not guilty. That is not our job. The investigation is the purview of the agencies. The, the verdict ultimately will come in the courts. But it doesn't look good, at least the fact that Rhea Chakravarti knew there were drugs being procured, her brother was the one procuring them, and that she was completely in the know of drugs being procured and given to Sushant, something she denied earlier. Precisely. Uh, things are not good for Rhea, definitely. The way the way things started when she gave her, gave her first interview and today when she's giving her confession or inter interrogation is going on, uh, there is a complete... Uh, 360 degree turn in what she said and what she is saying right now. But right now, there are two questions which are there in the mind of 130 crore Indians. What happened in Sushant and is this uh, drug angle, which can be a tip of the iceberg, can India be drug free completely? This is where the political leadership, this is where the motivation to make India drug free should come out. We have lost a star. We have lost a star. Why did we lose it? We don't know yet. But one thing which we know is that Bollywood is not clean, India is not clean, and drugs should be, and this should but be the But you're addressing, Manasvi, you're addressing a far larger point, and I agree with you that, of course, you can have your own views on whether or not India is drug-free, or it's only the uh, film industry that is afflicted with this. I'm sure there are many other spheres in life that are not completely drug-free either. But you're addressing I, a larger I, point. Stick to what we I, know as of now. In this particular case, do you believe Rhea Chakravarti was more, uh, let's say, economical with the truth, uh, to use a mild term? There, there are no there are no two ways in this. What she said in an interview, which was watched by almost every one of us, and what she is saying right now, the brother is saying right now, who's under the custody, and everything does not link up. The drug angle is clearly there, and there, there cannot be any denial by anyone, be it the father, be it the brother, or Ria herself. The drug angle is there. You cannot hide it now. You have you have open, the the NCB have openly investigated it, and we know the truth. The drug angle is there, but. The question what remains is drug and death, are they related or these angles are independent in nature? That is what we need to know. Would that, are these would that, angles would that, would that change the no, na nature of the investigation? Uh, you raise a valid point here because we don't want to go, go, go before no, 